want to talk to you this morning about pinnacle moments. Moments in our life where we know exactly where we were, what we were doing when certain events took place. I was on a 43 foot yacht, a thousand miles from land, in the most dangerous ocean on the planet. And at that moment, I was on deck alone. Out of the darkness of the night, over my left shoulder, I saw this silhouette of a 50 foot wave building on the horizon. What would happen next is that wave would knock my eight and a half ton yacht upside down. It would wash me overboard. It would injure some of my team down below. And that wave would begin a 72 hour fight for survival. To this day, the most horrific 72 hours that I've ever spent. And this morning, I wanna take you on that journey. Now, it's a journey full of adventure. It's, it's a journey full of danger, obviously. It's a journey, though, full of amazing beauty. But above all of it, it's a, it's a journey of the human spirit. And it's an example of having a dream, setting the goal, a stretch goal, building a team to go and chase it, and then finally executing and turning that dream or that goal into reality. Matt's had a tremendous impact on the team. You know, his stories are incredibly inspiring and motivating, but I think more for the team is that the adventures he's been on, he's been through so much. And so when the team faces obstacles at work, they really have a frame of reference. So in front of each of you should be a little device like this that I'm holding up. So it's this device, folks, that's gonna make you part of my expedition. Over the next three days, as we take this journey together, I'm gonna to ask you for your input. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Some questions that I asked my team, the leaders of the expeditions that I've been on asked of me, some situations that we had to face in the extremes. I'm gonna ask for your input. What do you think is the most important guiding principle that will contribute to our team's success. Discipline and safety, humour and enjoyment, open and honest communication, punctuality, recognition or second effort. Please start the clock. Okay, we've gone right through. Interesting. So we we're exactly the same with you guys. High level at open and honest communication. The reason that we went with open and honest communication, it's probably the same, is that we believe that without that guiding principle, the rest wouldn't work. What do you think is the most important behaviour that would contribute to our team's success? It was a tie between discipline and safety and open and honest communication. And we basically figured that without the communication, it didn't matter how much discipline you had. And with the communication, then you could get to the discipline and discussing everything else you needed to have. So at the end of the day, we figured that was the linchpin for everything else work. Yeah. I can already see the manifestation of the impact he's had because all of a sudden, when we have gone back from the summit, and when we go back into the countries and people get back into the, their own meetings, I see people starting to bring out their personal side into the equation a lot more. And when you get the, you know, that, that trend going, when people get emotionally connected in what they do, you automatically see a much higher emotional investment in the business they're in. They have to make it successful. They're part of the journey. Leadership is about giving people the skills, the courage, and the confidence that they need to go out and achieve and succeed long after you've gone. That's a leadership legacy.